So Jen, I'm here at the corner of Bellevue and Lafayette and right behind me is a commercial building where James and Jennifer Crumbly were spotted at 10 last night after a Good Samaritan called it in. The north parking lot, you have the vehicle, it's a black Kia. Without a second to lose, the Detroit Police Department quickly jumped into action and set up a perimeter as the caller also reported seeing Jennifer Crumbly sitting outside the vehicle. I want you to put in two perimeters, tight one around that building vehicle, then expand it further out. Uh, we got other resources coming your way. From air support to U.S. Marshals, including the Oakland County Sheriff's Office, all were on the scene to comb the area for the fugitives. And at 3 this morning, Detroit Police Chief James White broke the news. You know, they were in a commercial building, in a room. Uh, we were able to take them into custody without incident, and, but ho however, they were very distressed as they were walking out. James and Jennifer Crumbly were unarmed at the time of the arrest. Meanwhile, their attorney, Shannon Smith, assured 7 Action News last night that the couple is not on the run. And quite frankly, they've been out of town. They are making their way back here. They will be arraigned. They will be turned in. We would have done it today had we gotten more information in advance. This is indicative of turning yourself in hiding in a warehouse, so right. I don't know. Now, James and Jennifer Crumbly have been booked by the Oakland County Sheriff's Office, and of course, I'll have details about that later this morning. And also, in the next 30 minutes, I'll have information about DPD now searching for an individual who helped the Crumblies hide in this building right behind me. Back to you, Jen.